Amen. Watch this. I now have a different perspective on things. Yes, absolutely. Because now I'm moving from being immature to being mature. Because I understand that if I'm going to really engage God, God of the universe, God of creation, if I'm going to engage that God, mm -hmm. then I've got to understand the rules by which he plays. Understand me. We ain't got to understand the rules to, uh, to engage uh, man, uh, gods that we call men. We don't need that. But if we're going to engage God who is spirit, this mm. is why, watch this, John 4, 23 and 24 says it. It clearly says that if you're going to worship him, you have got to worship him in spirit and in truth. Somebody say those are rules. Those are rules. You can't do it any other way. Am I right or wrong? Right. He says, now, if you're going to engage God, if you're going to engage the next wave of God's glory, you have got to do it in spirit and in True. truth. Somebody say amen. Amen. All right, here we go. We, uh, I'm, I'm going to leave that one out. So we're going to go back and pick up. Now, First Samuel, he says, Samuel talked to them. There's some mm. rules. So we need a mind. We need maturity. Mm -hmm. Acts chapter number two, I ain't got time to go there. But if you go there, Acts chapter number two, about Pentecost, we understand that we also need unity. Right. We also need unity. Mm -hmm. Probably going to pick that up this afternoon. Unity. But then now, we come back to 1 Samuel, our primary text. Watch this. He says, so Samuel now is talking to the people of Israel. Hmm. Who we got to understand now um, have lost the glory of God. Hear me, somebody. And, and lost the glory of God because if you begin to go back through, amen, the book of 1 Samuel, you'll see now where, because Eli, the priest, was, was not on his job and he was letting his sons, Hophni and Phinehas, do whatever they wanted to do, amen. Now they go to war and they die when the servant comes back and tells Eli that his son died. But get this, he don't die, he don't fall out of his chair then. He waits, y'all, and he falls out of his chair when he hears that the ark of the covenant has been taken. Mm -hmm. What does a city or a region do when the glory, glory of God taken. is gone? God. That's good. When the glory of God does not wow. sit in a region, help me God, God. people still you, sit in the same places thinking that we're doing something for God and we're not moving anything. Absolutely. <laughs> and so the glory